It's over 60 years since Watson and Crick's pioneering work with DNA. In that time, we've made key scientific advances such as the green revolution, genetic engineering and biotechnology. And now, new developments in an area called synthetic biology are being held by governments and scientists as the future. The Rainbow Seed Fund asked professors Orkin Sawyer and Declan Bates from the University of Warwick for their perspective on why this field is causing so much excitement. So Declan, what is synthetic biology? Synthetic biology is the engineering of biology, taking biology and turning it into an engineering science. It's using engineering approaches, engineering mindsets, engineering tools um, in order to design new biological systems that either don't exist in nature right now or to modify natural biological systems to do something that's more useful or, or to do something that, that nature doesn't do yet. I think what's really interesting about synthetic biology is that it allows us to think about developing new technologies using biology. So you're saying, I guess, if you, for example, in genetic engineering, you will put in a gene in an organism that wasn't there originally, but I guess with synthetic biology, you will want to exactly control when that gene is expressed, when it is active, mm -hmm. and perhaps turn it off when it's not needed, turn it on when it's needed, and mm -hmm. so on. Yes, exactly. So one of the most exciting medical applications of synthetic biology that I've seen is some work that's, that's going on in, in the States right now where people are, are taking T cells um, out of patients who have cancer, uh, particularly le leukemia, and they're rewiring these T cells in order to be um, to more specific in terms of attacking the particular cancer that the patient has and then they're injecting these T cells back into the patient and they're able to control the level of response of the immune system via these synthetic cells in order to make the response more focused and more effective against the particular tumor that the, that the patient has. So that's a level of engineering design that is, is far beyond anything that anybody's ever attempted with gen traditional genetic engineering. And also different uh, existing areas of biotechnology will get an uplift, isn't it? Because, uh, for example, work on plants, making plants more resistant or grow better with these kinds of controlled synthetic circuits implemented in them, or uh, working on simple fermentations using microbes. So we work, for example, on the control of multiple species fermentation systems, which are used normally in biotechnology as a black box. But with synthetic biology approaches, we can design these kinds of systems and control them and understand them fully such that we get predictable and reliable results. Once we achieve this, this power, this, this uh, capability in, in, in biology, there are all sorts of amazing uh, applications that are going to come out of this. And once we develop this kind of technology, then you can unleash the, the, the power of, of, of biology as a, as a technological substrate. So for example, you can store a massive quantity of, of information in DNA yeah. in a very robust way, in a very small space, in a very lightweight way. Suddenly we realize that you can store 700 terabytes of data in a gram of DNA. This is the same as uh, 150 kilograms of hard, hard disks sitting in a, in a room. Yeah, and th this creates the excitement about synthetic biology, isn't it? And the, the push in the UK, for example, there was more than 40 million pounds of investment in, in synthetic biology research in the US similarly. Yeah, it's really worldwide. Yeah. So a lot of the challenges that the field is trying to address, whether it's biofuels or bioenergy or medical therapeutics or new biomaterials, these are global challenges as yeah. well. So there's a real strong potential for, for global partnerships and collaboration. It's exciting times. I think people are excited about synthetic biology uh, and they're right to be so. So that's the academic point of view. But what does synthetic biology mean commercially? It means new markets and new opportunities. The technology is opening up novel products, manufacturing processes. The Rainbow Seed Fund is excited about synthetic biology. It believes there's the potential to build world-class companies with a UK base. The Rainbow Seed Fund offers experience in helping finalise business plans, in identifying management and capital investment, and helping making companies successful on a global stage. <laughs>